It may not look like football season here in Rhodey, but the Rams have hit the field and are hard at work at their annual spring practice. There will be many changes this year as the Rams have graduated most of their key players, including senior quarterback Steve Probst, as well as most of the secondary and defensive lines. Coach Trainer and the rest of his coaching staff have been hard at work recruiting this season and are looking forward to introducing some of their new and impressive players, as well as improving upon their younger players in order to bring the team together and have a successful season. The returning Rams players took to the field this week for spring practices. With a lot of positions up for grabs, the Rams will use these four weeks of spring practice to plan for the transition this season. With new members on the coaching staff, the Rams took part in a series of drills and scrimmage play to prepare them for the fall. Following the practice, I had a chance to speak with Coach Trainer about this transition, his new coaching staff, and his thoughts on the upcoming season. Uh, Coach, the Rams graduated a lot of key players, particularly most of your starting secondary and defensive line. How are you working to make a smooth transition with Zocco and Johnson, and what will likely be a crop of new recruits? Well, I mean, we have, you know, we do have some guys up front. You know, we, we lose those two big guys in the middle in, in uh, Matt Ray and William McGinnis, but, you know, we have those two starters back from here, Bill Manny and Timmons, and hopefully we can get Ali healthy, and, and he's in that mix. So um, I don't think we're quite as... Uh, we're not quite as thin as we, you know, some people may think. In the secondary, you know, we did take two mid-year uh, transfers uh, with uh, Rondell Lane and, uh, and Donovan Walker. Both are older kids and are doing a great job. So it's, great. Um, it's good to have the both of those guys here. And, you know, we, we ended up taking three defensive backs that are junior college transfers that uh, are older kids, a little more mature. So you know, the expectation is for them to come in and, and, and be an impact for us right away. Uh, Defensively, and, and I think with Doug and, and Andrew Bowes and and uh, and Dave Zocco, I think you'll have three of the you know the best linebackers in the conference too. So. And as in any new season with seniors and captains moving on, you also lost a few of your key team leaders. Who are you looking to really step up and fill that position? Yeah, you know we have some quality seniors in this group. You got a guy like Doug Johnson. Um, we got Joe Miglarese, Alex Frazier, um, Andrew Belazare, who's, who's kind of he's, he's going into his fourth year, has another year. But, from a leadership standpoint, we'll be considered a senior. And, um, you know, he'll, uh, there's no doubt that he'll provide us with great leadership. I mean, I think, you know, any, anytime you have movement on, on the staff, which you always do at this level, um, you always want to give guys an opportunity to be promoted from within, and that's really going to be my philosophy always. So uh, we think we got a great staff, a bunch of smart guys, and really a bunch of great teachers. And, you know, to me, you know, I heard a quote the other day, you know, great teachers inspire learning, you know, and I think that these guys are doing a great job inspiring the guys. And uh, you know, just with, with some new players that are doing a great job of getting those guys to gel, especially on the back end.